Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Debbie Pates here. Um, normally, I upload my Wellness Wednesday virtual yoga at Goka videos, but this week it was full of glitches, and I don't want to subject you guys to it. So instead, I'm going to lead you through a quick morning workout. It's Friday today. Um, and I'm going to be practicing on my lawn. And when I practice on my lawn, I don't actually use my mat because I find that I'd rather either be on the grass or simply on a cloth. And um, that helps my grip and my balance a little bit better. So if you are choosing to practice outside at any time as the weather gets nicer, you might consider that. Um, also, you could see the window behind me. My cats have created their own pet door by breaking the screen. So you may see the cats coming up and down. So just a quick morning practice. Uh, come onto your mat and if you want to start in child's pose, go ahead and start in child's pose and then um, when you're ready, get up and join us. I'm just going to start in uh, with some sun salutations. So come to the top of your space and inhale your arms up. Take a nice deep breath, bring your hands together overhead and pull your hands into your heart and inhale your arms up again. Hands together overhead, pull the energy into your heart. One more time, hands up. This time grab your left wrist with your right hand, inhale up, exhale over to your right, pushing out your left hip as you Pull your left hand to the right side. Come on back up, inhale, and switch sides. Pull your right hand over as you push your right hip out. Just getting some length. Trying to go sideways, not forward. Inhale your arms back up. Separate your elbows. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up your heart. Inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, reach back up. And let's move into some salutations. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. It's morning, warming up. Forward fold, rise back up. So growing a flow, inhale your arms up, hands together overhead. Pull the energy in, inhale right back up. Exhale, fold. Half lift, fold. Sweep up, hands together overhead, pull the energy in. One more time, inhale up, exhale, dive forward, or hands through, heart center. Halfway lift, inhale, and then this time hands down, step back, high plank. Lower halfway or all the way, chaturanga or to the floor, up dog or cobra, to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here in down dog. Hmm. Ah, maybe some sighs. Let it out. And then look between your hands and step, jump, hop to the top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, fold. Sweep your arms up, rise with a flat back. Bring your hands together overhead and pull your energy into your heart. Again, sun A, inhale your arms up. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Step back, fold. Step back, high plank, I mean, chaturanga or the earth. Up dog or cobra. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Just a quick practice here. Come to the top of your space. Halfway lift. Forward fold. So we'll move on. Chair pose. Bend your knees and rise. Utkatasana. Sink down. Let the weight be in your heels so that you can actually lift your toes a little bit. You don't have to lift your toes, but just rocking back. Reaching your biceps by your ears if that's comfortable for you, and if it doesn't feel comfortable to you, then just put your hands wherever. Exhale, forward fold. Moving into a sun B, halfway lift, lengthen. Fold, step back, high plank, and lower on the same exhale if that works for you. 
up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Kiss your right leg up. Bend your knee and open up your hip. Take some circles. And then bring your leg back up and step it through. Low lunge. Spin. I'm going to spin around here. Spin your back foot flat. Rise. Warrior one. And then open. Warrior two. Reach. Take extended side angle. And reverse your warrior. Just getting the energy flowing. Helicopter your hands down and step back. High plank and chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Bend your knee. Open the hip. The circles. How do you feel good? And then step your leg through. Bend your back foot flat. Warrior one, rise. On a little bit of an incline here. Open up, warrior two. Reach. Extended side angle. Reverse your warrior. Reach back. Oh. And then helicopter down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Look in between your hands. Step to the top of your space. Half lift. Fold. Chair pose. Stand up. And bring your hands to your heart. Let's do it again. And down into chair pose. Inhale your arms up as you sink your hips. And then fold, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high plank, chaturanga, bird, vamukha svanasana, to adho mukha svanasana. Lift your right leg up, low lunge, warrior one, warrior two, reach, extend, reverse, and take it down. Getting your energy up, chaturanga. Upward facing to downward facing. Lift your left leg. Bring it through. Low lunge. Back foot flat. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reach. Extended side angle. Reverse warrior. And make your way down. High plank. Low plank. Upward facing dog. Two, downward facing dog. And take a couple of breaths. Ah. Mm. Check in with your energy. How you doing right now in this moment? Try to step away from any judgment you might put on it and just check in. Look between your hands. Step, walk, float, hop, make your way. To the top of your mat, halfway lift, lengthen, exhale, fold, fold, and sweep your arms up, rise with a flat back, bring your hands together overhead, and pull your energy into your heart, inhale your arms up, sink into chair, bring your hands together at your heart center and twist, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, push, your knee into your elbow, elbow into your knee. Maybe take a moment and look down and see if your knees are lined up together. Oh. The ground is not even here. It's making balance a bit more challenging. And then inhale, rise back up, Utkatasana chair, hands back together at your heart, twist in the opposite direction. Evening out your knees, pushing elbow into knee, breathing, letting the exhale deepen your twist, and then inhale back up, forward fold, halfway lift, lengthen, step back to high plank, chaturanga on an exhale, inhale to upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and exhale, lift your right leg up. Step it through, low lunge. Keep your back heel up this time. And rise to crescent. Pause in crescent lunge. 
Maybe you want to drop your back knee here and sink a little bit more into your front knee. And then you're going to get a nice stretch, even, even more deep stretch in the front of your left hip flexor here. And let's do another quick twist. Bring your hands together, hinge forward, left elbow outside or right knee. And notice the differences in this twist based on the differences in your body position. And then quickly, we're not going to stay here that long, release hands to the inside of your right foot for runner's lunge. So maybe you allow your elbows to come down, maybe you just sink down. Just a couple of breaths here. And then from here, we're going to do a kind of tricky move. So if you're down on your back knee, come tuck your toe, lift your back knee, spin your back foot flat. Take your right hand, keep it either on the inside or outside of your right foot, and roll open. Come into a deeper version of extended side angle. And in this version, don't worry how it looks as much as how it feels. Just experimenting maybe with going a little further than you normally do in the posture. And then come on back down. Step back, high plank, chaturanga, and upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, lift your left leg up. Bring it through low lunge, keep your back heel lifted. Press and lunge, rise. Maybe again, dropping your back knee. If you wanna get a deeper stretch through the front of your right hip flexor this time. Bring your hands together and twist. Just a few breaths. Noticing the difference in the twist. And release. Runner's lunge. So no cats coming through, jumping in and out of the window. Hmm. I'll have to base here next time and see if we can get that. We're not done yet, who knows. Runner's lunge, sink down as deeply as you want here. Your body's not that warm. We, this is a short but quick practice. So just coming to where your body lets you, not where your brain says you ought to be going. It's a, that's, a, that's a different story, right? And then come on up, spin your right foot flat, hop up on your right, off your right knee. Keep your left hand either on the ground, on the ground, either inside or outside of your knee. If you have it on the inside, you can kind of lean into your knee or either way. And reach up and, and let it feel awkward. For me, this is a lot deeper than I normally go in this posture. But just experimenting with the new stuff, right? Sometimes taking it a little bit further and seeing how that goes. Having humility here. Bring your hand back down. Come up on your right toes. Step back. High plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. To downward facing dog. Look in between your hands. Step the top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold, fold. Sweep your arms up, rise all the way to the top. Bring your hands up overhead. Pull your energy into your heart. Getting a little bit out of breath here, moving more quickly than usual. Let's keep moving. Inhale your arms up. Lots of flowing here. Utkatasana, chair pose. And then exhale, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale. Take it back, high plank, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Shift your shoulders forward over your hip, over your wrist. Bring your right knee across to your left elbow. Shift it back up. Right knee to your right elbow. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Bring it back up. Shift your shoulders forward, round your back. Bring your knee in, show, knee to forehead. And then place it down. Nice job. Spin your back foot flat. Rise up, warrior one. I'm going to spin around here. And then open up, warrior two. I'm wasting no time. Straighten your right knee. And reach forward, 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 and then tilt, coming into triangle pose, trikonasana. Try to have your right 
left hand rather, right over your face. But you don't have to keep looking up if it hurts your neck. Try to get length in both sides of your body and maybe use that bottom hand as a little bit of leverage to roll your heart even more open. You could bring your left bicep by your ear if you want and really challenge your core even more here by bringing your right bicep by your ear as well. Take a couple of breaths here. Bring your hand back to regular triangle pose and one balancing posture here. Bend your front knee and one and two, half moon. So bend your front knee, step forward and lift your back leg up. You wanna have your body parallel to the earth as best as possible. Pretty balanced challenge here because I'm on an incline just a bit. And then bring your left hand down. Keep your right leg up, stay in the splits. If you want to keep the balance going, you can stand, hold on to your standing calf here. And then step your left foot back. Step your right foot back, hands on the floor, high plank. You can lift your hips right into down dog or go through another vinyasa. And then from downward facing dog, lift your left leg up, bring it through, low lunge. Spin your back foot flat. Whoa, warrior one, warrior two. Straighten left knee, reach, triangle. Pushing out your right hip to help lengthen the underside of your body. Reaching through the crown of your head. Maybe left hand uses, it provides leverage. Roll your left rib cage under and open. Bring your right bicep by your ear if you want. Left bicep by your ear if you want. Breathe. How do you show up in a challenge? Hands back to normal position, and let's turn this into half moon. I'm gonna try to move down to somewhere a little bit steadier for me here. So bend your left knee, step forward, and lift your right leg up. If you had a block or a water bottle, and you wanted to put your hand on that, you could do that. I'm doing a pretty poor job of demonstrating this here. There we go. Right hand down, right leg stays up, stand and splits. Let your head be heavy. And then step back with your right foot, step back with your left. Chaturanga, upward facing or cobra. And downward facing dog. Ah, good morning. Or waking up your body, whatever time of day you might be doing this. Look in between your hands, step to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Uttanasana, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair. Stand up, bring your hands together overhead, and pull your hands into your heart. We're going to make our way down. Inhale your arms up. Chair pose. One more time here, pause. Actually, let's, before we make our way down, let's do a standing hip opener. So let's do figure four. And if you have it in your practice, you can turn this into a balance. I, I will attempt to demonstrate that. So to start with, bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. Keep your left knee bent. And you can bring your hands to your heart. Stay here. You can bow forward and bring your forearms onto your right shin. You can grab onto your standing calf. But what we're looking for is an opening in your outer hip, kind of like what you would get in pigeon. Yeah, but we're doing it standing here. And then there's an arm balance called uh, Ekapada. Uh, I forget what it's called, to tell you the truth. I My screen went black, so I want to see how well you guys can see me here. Um, okay, I'm going to lose my, lose my sarong here. So here in this... Um, Flying, we're going to move into flying squirrel. So what you want to do is 
bow forward and keep your left right foot very flexed very strongly bow forward and bring your hands to the earth in a chaturanga position whoa this little hill is you can't really see it but it's a lot when you're trying to balance bring your hands into a chaturanga position and the backs of your arms are on your right shin really hook your left tricep with your right foot here and then hinge forward lift your left foot off the ground and if you can you straighten it that's all you're going to get from me here or you just stay in the balancing posture and open up your hip and then release bring your hands behind your back just stand up straight bring your hands behind your back clasp your hands squeeze your shoulder blades together and open the heart Inhale your arms up, sink in the chair, same thing other side. I'll do it in this same, our orientation. Bring your, your chair, bring your left ankle on top of your right knee, that's the starter. Then you can bring your hands to your heart, you can bring your hands, your forearms to your shin, or bring your hands down, hook this time your right tricep with your left foot. Forward, shift your weight, right toes lift, and then maybe you come to the balance. Wherever you are, play as long as you like or release. Come to standing, bring your hands together overhead, pull your energy into your heart, and let's go into a quick warm down today. Inhale your arms up. Chair, forward fold, back lift, figured back, high plank, chaturanga, up dog, to downward facing dog. Bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Pigeon. So real similar to what we were doing, right? If you notice, your legs are very much in the same position, but here, a lot less active. And sometimes the less active nature of this posture gives your body a greater chance to open. So recognizing that it's, it's, it can be really fun to do these strong, powerful poses, but um, it can also be more nourishing in some ways for our bodies to do these slower, juicier postures. And then bring your upper body up, sit over onto your right hip and swing your left leg around in front of you. Keep your right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Inhale up, turn over your left leg and bow forward. So try to get your nose beyond, actually the, the crown of your head. I don't want you tilting your head up. Try to get the crown of your head beyond your foot. And your hands come wherever they all go. And then sit back up and pigeon on the other side. So if you want, just bend your left knee, swing your right leg back behind you, or you can come back into downward facing dog to get into this posture. Take a few breaths. So I am not going to keep you guys here that long, but if you want, obviously pause your video and stay here as long as you'd like. Getting juicy in these big hip joints and the, the muscles of your thighs, your glutes, big muscles there. And then sit over on your right hip, left hip, sorry. Sit up, swing your right leg in front of you. Inhale up, keep your left uh, foot on the inside of your right thigh, turn to your right, and bow. Janushirshasana, one leg is forward fold. The 
back up. Bring both legs out in front of you. Here's where if you're on the grass, grasses can be pretty itchy. You're going to want to have a, a sarong or towel if you're not on your mat. Bring your legs out in front of you. Reach forward. Reach forward with your hands together and then as slowly as you can, roll onto your back. And bring your hands by door, hips, and allow your legs to come up overhead. Use some momentum and come on into plow. So if your hands are on the, if your feet rather are on the floor overhead, maybe you clasp your hands together or have them on the floor. But if like me, your feet are not on the floor, you might want to support your low back here. And then if your hands weren't on your low back already, bring them there and then shift your weight back into your hands a little bit and lift your legs up, coming into shoulder stand. Weights on your elbows, not your neck, or maybe the backs of your hands, I don't know. Again, this is a posture you could stay as long as you like. I'm not going to keep you here a while, but traditionally, this is a posture we hold a long time. Reversing gravity, letting the blood change direction for a few minutes. And when you're done, head, feet to your, the floor overhead, hands back on the ground, and roll down. Try to roll down slowly here also. When you get all the way down, hug your right knee in. Spinal twist, right knee to the left. Key your right arm out and turn your head to the right. Take a breath or two here. And switch. Hug in your left knee. Twist. Release and come to Shavasana lying on your back. So even in a quick practice, if we take the time, maybe one minute, to assimilate the practice. Of course, if you're practicing at home, you could take as long as you want in this posture. And maybe before we end here, Come to a space of gratitude. Perhaps grateful that the weather's nice, so that even though our activities that we are able to do right now are limited due to stay-at-home orders, quarantine, etc., we can still be outside enjoying the weather. Gratitude for whatever comes up for you. Sorry to get you guys excited about the cats jumping in and out the window, but maybe next time. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.